Yeah, we back. This is the raw gameplay. Okay, I'm recording the raw gameplay now. We're back. The the Matrix. They try to shut me down. There's corporations. They don't want me to help you save money. They knew I was saving. I was spitting facts. I was spitting straight facts. And they didn't want me to help you save money by talking about CD keys and whatnot and Humble Bundle. Even though Humble Bundle is a is a great corporation, you know they donate your purchases to charities and they even have the charity listed under the bundles and whatnot. But no, the corporation won't shut me down. They won't shut me. The Matrix, the Matrix, the Bugatti list, <laughs> the Bugatti list, man. They're out to get me. I'm speaking video game hard facts. It's bullshit. <laughs> Hit the like button. <laughs> I'm going to post to Twitter because I didn't post the last stream to Twitter. Let me post to Twitter. Twitter X. All hell Elon Musk. <laughs> Hashtag Steam. Oh, man. Can't believe it, man. They try, try to take me down, man. Corporations, man. Try to take me down. Try, try to take, take me down. Corporations, man. Bu the Bugatti list. The Bugatti list. Try to take me down. They want to bleed us. I <laughs> said that's, that's Lex Lewis. <clears throat> Damn, I, I gotta go to CVS to get my medicine, man. Um, can't believe it, man. They they shot shut me down, man. All right, we're back. Uh, Starfield. Oh, okay, Starfield was loading. Give me a second. Let me see. Okay, we're good. So I, I rewound. Uh. Uh, the the uh, I I loaded a previous save because I had finished talking to the to Hadrian and the lady. So uh, I just reloaded a save. That puts me back there. So I asked my boss what they're doing to stop new alien. There you are, Captain. Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Thank you. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I yes. have been discussing what comes next. You can't talk about Nintendo. Can't talk about Nintendo. Stayed out of trouble well, down there, Well, I it's hope. too late. The video's there in the Raw King play. So, what was said was said. Plan is for Hadrian to take the data from here. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So, whenever you're ready, Is the answer to stopping more attacks really in here? You're carrying All right, we'll the most go for like an hour, guys. collection of information on Terramorphs in the known universe. If we can't pry an answer out of there, it likely doesn't exist. Certainly doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but we're not going to know until Percival and I dig in. So whenever you're ready. <coughs> I made someone a promise, Hadrian. Can you assure me this data will be used for good? I, yes, it will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This. Thank you for coming back, Lex Lewis. Hey, you're on time. That's <laughs> right. so a nice callback. We've yeah. been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, Do you guys the hear safety it? measures. Is Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Okay. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Best thing about playing with the controllers, I can actually walk. Can I romance Hadrian? 
Because Sarah was pissing me off not too long ago. <clears throat> hey, Adrian seems seems like uh, the type of character my character would be feeling. Definitely. They have the same morals. Oh, shoot. Audio's good? Okay. But Oh, what a view. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? This doesn't mean I can't be a citizen elsewhere, does it? It doesn't. We don't really care where else you might have been or might become a citizen. Once you earn your place <clears throat> in the United Colonies, it's yours. I'm ready. Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you... Oh, damn it. ...carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Sure, whatever. <laughs> I will. Then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. Nice! Please also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Oh, snap. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. Really? So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see about, is Ghost kept Wolf? in the strictest confidence. You can tell <clears throat> no one. Can you agree to these terms? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Ask for me by name? Who are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know if I can agree to that. I'll take it to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. <laughs> Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection seven. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Okay. Uh, let's go, point. I have a skill point. Oh, I already have this? Okay. Um, oh, I'm down here. Okay. Uh, should miss a I did my damage. The work could be. Oh, yeah. Do more damage to robots and turns. Your forces. I don't know. <clears throat> oh yeah i did say i was going to do sarah's mission i think i promised last time i forgot guys it's been a minute well next stream next stream I'll be focusing on Starfield and Liza P. I need to knock these games out. You ever hear that one <laughs> about the Orson and the platypus? 
subsection 7. And I had no idea this place even existed. The UC certainly excels at keeping secrets. Are you surprised? I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Okay. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. <clears throat> and who do I have the pleasure of making acquaintance? President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? A guy who couldn't afford a place with a view? Clearly. Ha! Hmm. No, I suppose not. I'm Francois <laughs> Fanon. But most know me as Ve Victus. Now I'm I starting to sound like Spike the again. War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me too valuable to simply discard so they put me here a sacrifice on the altar of peace even my death served the colonies uh what'd you do to warrant my execution the official charges i faced after the war were twofold the first was the destruction of civilian ships during the battle of cheyenne a battle during which those civilian ships were actively attacking my fleet. The other was ordering the bombing of the Londinian spaceport to halt the spread of the Terramorph outbreak there. The city and its citizens were lost, but countless others likely saved. And for doing what was right, I was put on trial. And my life irrevocably changed. Did you see faked your death then? One final act of rebellion by the leadership that <clears throat> lost the colony war. The trial was authentic. I faced tribunal with dignity, but my execution staged. A lethal injection that was anything but. The cabinet at the time, long gone now, wished to keep me on as an advisor, and considering the other option, I was in no place to refuse. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Senan, that's Hadrian's last name. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Yours and Hadrian's relationship is business, not mine. Kind of a stretch to call what you two had a family. You told me she's your clone, yes. Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Can you tell me more about this cloning program? 
It was an attempt by the United Colonies to solidify its own legacy, forging a new generation of great leaders. They were raised by adoptive families made up of scholars and tacticians, trained at the United Colonies' greatest scientific and military academies, displayed incredible promise. But by the time the colony war came to a close, there was only Hadrian. But that's ancient history now. You have much more pressing matters at hand with which I can help. Now every day I get the chance to work with a man living in a fish tank. Keep talking. After some long years <laughs> earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams. Helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about oh, to work on. Oh, is life. Huh. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. Uh, you track down war criminals, people like you. How's that work exactly? <laughs> well, who better to find them? But many of them I knew personally, and I've always had a mind for details. Where someone was born, next of kin. <laughs> You'd be shocked how often an otherwise brilliant criminal flees to the planet just next to the one where they were born or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. Spit out what it is you want. Gladly. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day but i finally found him i want you to track him down and deal with him however you're able i'm not expecting he'll come quietly bring me evidence that the job's done and i'll tell you what i know mm. Why have me do this? Why not hand this over to one of the members of, of this recovery team? Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. <laughs> it is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. And this might be something of a tryout. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. How about I arrest him and turn him over to the UC? You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all if you simply blow up his ship and be done with it. Not killing anyone, but if he's actually as bad as you claim, I'll consider bring him to justice. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria, Wolf System. There is a star station in the vicinity, the Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man.
the hell? Where am I? I entered a server room somehow. What's up, Sarah? What the hell? What? What? What's that? What the hell was the the gang signs you just threw up? Um. Now that we're here, perhaps we could spend a bit of time relaxing rather than planning. Who's Deputy McIntyre? We had a nice chat. She uh, left this note for you. Oh, from mom. Dear Spike. I was going through our storage unit the other day and came across something that made me think of you. I know you're important and you're busy, but I'd really love it if you visited. I miss you. Love, Mom. Hmm. Who's Deputy McIntyre? It's, it's only showing me the waypoint, and that's the problem with this game too, man. Like it's only showing me the waypoint for the freaking mission. I like, I want to do the side, but I'm just like, do I? How much time do I waste looking for Deputy McIntyre? I don't even know. I don't even remember who McIntyre is. You know, like I know Drew McIntyre from the WWE, but I, don't, I do not know McIntyre. You talking about here? Okay, there's two wave points. I see two wave points. All right, here we go. Yay, yippee. Okay. Really wish it would say which one is which. I assume the tram one is the one to leave the planet, and the other one is going to be for McIntyre. So, yes, there is the tram, and the other one has to be McIntyre. There we go. Thank goodness. Found it. Thank you. Thank you, game, for actually cooperating and showing me where the hell this is. Oh, man. Really wish this game had a good nice map. Suit. Okay. Oh, this lady. You're McIntyre. Well, damn. I, I just called you lady. Sorry. Captain. My apologies. Did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Ah, Deputy, I was not prepared for that. Surprised me too when I learned it. But the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years. And kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else can know about this. All right? Uh, why hasn't Hadrian been told about this? The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. 
can't keep me from telling Hadrian. Freestyle Collector at least should <coughs> be told about this. No, they really shouldn't. And bringing up what you've learned outside this building will make you, Captain, look like a crazy person. I don't want that, and you certainly don't want that. So Everybody believes me. This to yourself. I'm the yeah. chosen one. Was there something in particular you wanted to discuss about your meeting? I'm going to be a hitman. First target, Reginald Arlos. Uh, we're not big on extrajudicial killings, but bringing Orlais to justice? That man's been on the run for a long time. Catching him would be a major success for the UC. What's being offered in return? Look at your old research team members. Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? <laughs> Hi, Fox. <laughs> is uh, is the stream right now? It's called Omega Live Green Screen Trolling, and it, it, it's a floating head, uh, a green screen, and <laughs> it's, uh, uh, he's pretending to be a Chick Fil A cat, a Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A employee, and he's on Omega, and it is fucking hilarious. Uh, Ghostwood says her hairstyle. Well, did her hairstyle isn't her hairstyle the same as the lady uh, from the uh, the one nightclub in Cyberpunk? You know, Judy's old boss. You remember the lady who gave us her mission? Yeah. Did she have blue hair like that? I don't know. I kind of like that hairstyle. I don't mind it. I like it. What are the chances I'm being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. I'm supposed to head to the den. Anything you can tell me about it? The den? It's a star station orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. First one I'm a, here, I'll post it in the chat the if you guys want to watch it in picture in picture. The place this is, is always fucking hilarious. Strategic <laughs> hub, primarily for repairing and refueling it's, UC it, military vessels. It's great when the... But the person from the that he uh, sea, that he matches with on Omega is, is playing more. along. It's it's so great. Patrols included. I never been on Omega. My brother has. Uh, no. It seems like a pointless, fruitless thing to do. Talk to random people on yeah. Here, I'll post it in the chat. If you guys want to watch it in picture in picture. I like, like have my stream I'm open in the background or something. Yeah. But this is fucking hilarious, dude. He's, he's pretending to be a police officer right now. Uh, well, it, 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 he's not pretending. It, it, it's all a skit, guys. It's all a skit. He's not a, 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 being an actual police officer. It's it's just a skit. It's a comedy. It's 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 a still image of a police officer uniform, and uh, it's just his green screened head floating. This is great. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion.
Oh, wait. I can't. Uh, oh, snap. We're going to Wolf. Oh, snap. We're going to Ghost Wolf. Oh, shoot. Look out now. It's Ghost Wolf. We're going to go see Ghost Wolf. We're going to go take him down. Ghost Wolf is a, it's a bad guy. We got to take him down. I got I want to customize my shit for upgrades on how big of the upgrades I could put on here like uh, how big of the upgrades that was that even a sentence how, how many up, uh, how powerful, hmm. Um, I wonder what powerful upgrades I can now attach to my ship. <sighs> I got there. <laughs> I eventually got there. <laughs> oh, God. Ma'am. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches. Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority? Sure. How about it? It said my play. <laughs> it said, Welcome to Chick fil A. My man, take your order. And the kids said, I'll take a Big Mac, my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is great. Uh, this is great, man. <laughs> a Big Mac. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, man. A Big Mac with extra cheese slaps, dude. Back in my days, I feel like the Big Mac was better. I feel like the patties were larger or wider. But I tell you the truth, man. There was some nights here. My family was like, "Yo, we ain't cooking tonight." I was like, bet I got a hanger for a Big Mac. And every time I get a Big Mac now, I get extra cheese. Never been disappointed, man. So fucking good, man. It's so damn good. So fucking good, bro. My pleasure. <laughs> what did my character just do? Did he just like fall on his ass? What the hell is that? My pleasure. 
I said I would say that back to a Chick-fil-A employee because I held the door open for them because they were uh, uh, they had just handed a customer in like the uh, curbside pickup their order and we're heading back inside I said uh, <clears throat> I opened the door for them they said thank you I said my pleasure <laughs> and he chuckled <laughs> yeah. <I> chuckled. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then it was two doors. It was two doors. It was two doors, right? So he held the door open for me. And I said, thank you. He said, my pleasure. And I, I, we both just, uh, it, was, it was a good moment. It was a good moment. <laughs> it was a good moment. Oh, man. Dude, this mission is level five, but I'm I'm like level twenty. Let's go, dude. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, easy. That's how I feel the story missions are gonna be once I actually do the story missions. Like I said, I only did like three story missions. I think there's like twenty main stories. <laughs> Dude, three people back to back. Been three people back to back, dude. He just came back away. So he asked this, this new guy, Welcome to Chick fil A, man. Take your horn. And the guy said, A Big Mac. Everybody keeps saying Big Mac. Dude, John is being trolled on Omega, man. <laughs> I always said Core Powder. <laughs> God, I love my ship. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> I was about to crash. <laughs> I was about to crash, dude. I didn't know I was that close. I know that was, that was that close. That was hilarious. Uh, it just, like, as soon as I, I, I zoomed in, I was like, oh, God, we're about to crash. Um, Lex Lewis says, I didn't know you can ask for extra cheese on a Big Mac. Yes, you can. Yeah, because they, they only give you one slice of cheese. I'm like, bro, there's two patties on here. Each of the patties need cheese. Obviously, even though cheese is technically not good for you, but as a red-blooded American, I must have the cheese. So <laughs> it's either it's either it's either I get extra cheese there or if I know I have better cheese at home I'm like yeah just give me a Big Mac and I'll go home and I'll put some sharp cheddar cheese on there throw it in the microwave for like 10 seconds boom baby hot damn literally this is UC space you are clear to dock with the den Let me tell you one. Uh, 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 okay, we're talking about McDonald's, like how, how good the Big Mac is. But let me tell you something that's messed up. When I would get a McChicken, right? And I want, I, I want to add, I usually add pickles, mustard, and I want to add tomatoes. You have to pay 15 cents for the tomatoes. Whereas when I go to Wendy's, and I get like their classic chicken sandwich. You know, the the, uh, the 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 cheap one that comes in the uh, the biggie bag or whatever. I could add lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, and whatnot. Well, it already comes with lettuce. But you know what I'm saying. I could add all those additional items. It don't cost me shiz. It don't cost me a jack squat. If I add bacon, yes. But if I want tomatoes on it, like, yeah, throw some tomatoes on it. Why does McDonald's charge you for tomatoes? Is it because they rarely carry tomatoes? Like, I'm trying to think of all the stuff that they put tomatoes on. The chicken sandwiches. Yeah, right? right? Ain't like they got a Whopper. They don't have a Whopper. But don't they have a deluxe burger, I think? Whereas Wendy's, I think, puts tomatoes on a lot of their sandwiches. Yeah, they put it on everything. Like the Dave's the Dave's uh, burger, I think you, you get that with... Um, with tomatoes and stuff on it. I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I had a Dave's burger. Uh -uh. Yeah, hungry. I'm getting hungry. I'm, I'm gonna make a sandwich out of this.
Whoa, Chick fil A. Should I get on Omega one day? I've never been on Omega. I watch John on Omega. It's it seems like it's not fun. It's not interesting. I like the people there are just they're the troll and they they, they, they it's just like just wasting time. When they could be using that time for something better. Oh, being more productive somewhere else. Days. I wonder if the UC will oh, ever fully restore damn. to its former glory. Who is this? Reina Marquis. Hello, Reina. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Yo, this lighting is not doing your face justice. Ha! A ghost! No complaints. I was told you could help me. Can try, I guess. Why? What do you need? Why do you go like so when you talk? I'll do that too. I need to get to Etheria. Etheria? Not yeah. an area that gets a lot of visitors. You mind me asking what you're looking for? Someone's hiding there. Someone I need to find. Hiding? Around Etheria? Yes. Are you talking about the warlock? There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it. And at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the warlock's last sighting. Oh, anything I should know about the den or whatever. Things you should know? The den's not really that kind of place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates. Make sure smuggling's kept to a minimum. Occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the collective wants another round. Or House Varun comes back in force. Seven dollars for fries is highway robbery. <laughs> oh my god, this shit is hilarious. <laughs> Said the card is declined. Insufficient funds on the card. <laughs> His facial expression shot. <laughs> His facial expressions are just great. Oh yeah, I gotta get in the chat. I gotta do some smiley faces. This shit is hilarious. Uh, should I put it on stream? <laughs> I'll put it on stream next time. What's got your I'll attention? Put a sure isn't me. I'll put a stream in a second. If you find another good person. Oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Yo, click that link right there in the in the chat if you want to see what I'm watching right now. This is hilarious. <laughs> It is so disproportionate to the bodies. Oh my god, it's so great. I watch High Fox every night, man. I dude, I don't know what I do without this, this man. Like I probably just be watching like Disney shows or something. Hey, like. let's focus But because on he's he streams like and his content is is hilarious. It's, it's engrossing. I, I, oh man, I just love it. I love it, man. I think I found John this year, like High Phonics this year. I I never knew about him because <clears throat> I'm not on I'm not on TikTok or anything like that. <laughs> I forget how I found him. 
Oh, I, I think I was looking at different. I, I think, yeah, because I I'm subscribed to something about chickens, and I think Hyphonics popped up in the recommended videos after I was watching a something by something about chickens video, and uh, 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 and, and of course Vlad popped up in there too. I'm also subscribed to Vlad, but I was like, okay, there? let me let me check out this Hyphonics guy. <clears throat> I ended up watching one of the videos, and I do yeah, yeah. And, and I'm also subscribed to Luke AFK. So I'm subscribed to all these Omega content creators that it somehow led me to high phonics, which is great. And now I watch high phonics more than those guys. I think Luke, I don't know if Luke still uploads consistently, but um, I love Luke A AFK's videos too. But um, <clears throat> oh, now this lady is in court because in court got declined. <laughs> Oh, wait. She has insufficient funds. They took your ass to court. This is great. Oh, this is great. What's got your this attention? Great. Uh, sure isn't anything me. else can you tell me about the warlock? I mean, I honestly thought it was just a story board haulers told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the warlock really has been dusting our people, well, hopefully you're about to make our skies a whole lot safer. What's so dangerous about the part of Ethereum's so, right? Well, the original Den Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by marauding house Baroon zealots. Big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Etheria, forming a nasty debris field. Every now and then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80-year-old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. Though... Maybe it's not just the field that's been picking them off. Yeah, I need to take care of some. I'll take those coordinates. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Good hunting, and stay safe. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh god, oh god, I broke my legs. Broke my legs. What the hell? No, she said Michael B. Jordan. Not Michael Jordan. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. doing the skit anymore oh oh well the dr phil show <laughs> he's gonna do a dr phil show <laughs> i love this skit i i, I remember this one okay i, I uh, he's gonna do a dr phil oh man 
Oh my god. Apparently, like, there are some that upgrade. What? Oh, security. Oh, I can't go to two. Okay. This is great. This is just uh, having a ball, man. Pat Santos says, I'm playing Marvel Spider-Man 2. Hopefully, I will be playing next month when I get a PS5 Slim. But I've been playing, uh, I streamed Miles Morales the other day. That's good. How you like it, man? How you like it? It's getting good reviews. Docking you. Well, I'm docking you so good right now. Has good story. I'm glad you. I'm. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's one of the reasons why you bought your PS5, right? I'll head to my crew position. Captain Spike. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. He took his own life. Oh, I tried to take him in. But he took his own life. Uh, so is this my ship now? Could I, could I take it? You're not authorized to pilot this ship. Well, suck my balls. I don't want anyone. I have this weak ass ship. Captain Spike. Do you require my assistance? No, Vasco. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> That's good, man. I 
like I said, hopefully I'll be able to play uh, next month. Gotta secure me a PS5 Slim, though. Again, the digital version. <clears throat> and then I'm buying the uh, hard drive separate because I want the option that if you uh if if the if the laser goes bad in the drive i could just easily swap it out with another one it won't actually affect the unit itself <clears throat> so yeah. i know it's gonna cost a little bit more but who knows people might do some crazy things with that drive who knows i don't know we'll see what happens but just being able to swap it out if it stops reading disc, that's what's up. Yeah, apparently the the system is like matte and gloss. It has a little bit of matte and gloss on to it. Can't wait to see it, man. Scan complete. You are clear to land at New Atlantis. I kind of want. I kind of want those PlayStation Bluetooth earbuds. I, I think I did say I want. When they showed that off, I I think I did say I want one of those too. So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? Are you hungry? You'll be scanned as you enter the city. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. Oh, by the way, guys, you know, you know, after watching Angry Joe's review of Starfield, you know what I realized? And that one boss battle I had not too long ago, where I it was just like one hit and I could have died. Did you know that if you just go lay down in the game, get your health back? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So the entire time I could have did that in that boss battle if there was like a bed nearby. I know it's fucked up. Wish I knew. Wish I knew. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here.
Captain. I think it's you have some news with the chair Captain too. Captain if you just Omega. wait, you get your health back. <clears throat> I tried to bring him in, but he took his own life. I'm not surprised. The man fled every consequence he ever faced. Of course, you don't expect me to just take you at your word, do you? Found this, his ID. Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. Sure, the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters, except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xeno weapon deployments during the war, so I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. Why are you helping us with this? I dedicated my life to the United Colonies. Every effort of my being to their protection. I even gave them my heirs. Even if my circumstances have changed, my purpose is not. Security protocols? Wait, is this Kaiser guy a robot? Specifically customized for the needs of the Xeno Warfare team during the Colony War. A powerful resource, if you can recover him. This better be worth it. You're saving the galaxy, Captain. What tool wouldn't you use to protect it? Complete the devils you know.
Oh, shit. All geared up and ready to go. Got a lot of screens here. Hold on, let me um. Oh man. Oh, that's that's horrible. Oh god. Oh, that's even worse. I I take the screen tearing. Oh, I'll I'll take. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, that's right. I get, don't we gotta pay for the Nvidia? I'll take the screen tearing. Oh, I could get the mod. That's right. Captain, welcome back. Hello. What is with that? Why does that keep assigned. happening? You've been gone Audio so long. keeps getting the same first so how's it feel conversation with everyone. With the introduction to everyone. You know, I'd almost forgotten I was a citizen. A lot happened in the in interim. I'm not thrilled at associating with a group like the United Colonies. If I'm honest, it doesn't really feel, it doesn't feel any different. It feels good, Major. Hmm. To each their own. Still remember my ceremony. Nineteen years old. Oh, standing on the front God. deck of a mast, looking over the oh. city. One of the proudest days of my life. Oh, mm. But it is real good to have you here again. Damn, that was We've a been lot going pop. through the terramorph data. Oh, and, not a pop, well, it's like a gas bubble. Right? It's we can like gas get. bubbles between the bones, These right? Logs, they're even more thorough than I remember. How somebody explained Genetic it. Like a doctor. Population statistics. It. Hell, even their food chain. Okay. I've completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. Mm. What the heck kind of monster eats Terramorphs? Well, ate. They went extinct a few decades back. A big lumbering thing called an Aceles. Something I'd love to learn more about if we had the people to look into it. Well then, you're going to love this. Your research team's on its way here. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait, Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? What is it? What is it that's so special about this Kaiser? Well, Kaiser's one of a kind. Special built for the sort of work we did. Dealing with unfriendly beasts in hostile environments. No other robot in the galaxy like him. So did you really manage to track him down? It's as good as collected. He's my next stop. I was told I 
need your help overcoming his security protocols. That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? Actually, they were found by your father, Francis Sanon. He's alive and imprisoned by the USC. Had some help, but we need to leave the, it at that. <laughs> you can't be. Oh, you are serious. Okay. No more questions. But still, getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a oh, lot of why the hell she look at me online. like that? Oh. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the unpleasant side. But the facility staff made short work of that. She said, come hither. Sarah's like, what was going on in there? What were you two talking about? Business. What sort of business? Business. That is all. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. The hell did she just pick up? Here. Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. The fuck was that? That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his Someone voice just controls. pop up on Discord? You can give yourself authorization with the phrase Nos belli machinis. What the fuck? Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's John. Wait, are you suggesting I make these repairs myself? Oh, it's really not that daunting. So long as he's on a planet with some modicum of civilization, you should be able to cobble together most of what he might need. He is on a planet like that. Right? Can I just capture him or shoot him or something? Like, I do better for uh, uh, shooting things. Ground Zero for Xenoverse deployments was how it was described to me. Oh my god. Are you talking about Nero? No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated. There's little, if any, real law. Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But do they have and strip I think clubs? There's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. <laughs> well, repair it yourself. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by gel. As good a place to start as any. You know what? You know what? I wish. I wish motherfuckers. Oh, excuse me. Damn. I didn't. I, I, I meant to say motherfudgers, but I actually ended up saying the actual word. Uh, I wish, like, when they do construction on the roads and stuff, that they would clean up after themselves. Because I got a big ass nail in my tire the other day, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> and I didn't have any more plugs. So I drove to AutoZone, and I'm out there with my fellow people working on their car. I mean, I had to change my battery the other day because it was leaking acid. But, uh, <laughs> which I talked about in the stream not too long ago, but, um, which was very dangerous. Um, then I'm out there, you know, I bought a plug kit. I'm out there, there, people working on their cars. <sighs> I keep my hammer in with me just in case I need a fudge some people up with a hammer or uh, they they give me the business and i and, and it's hammer time um but i took my hammer that i keep right next to me in my car and i uh popped that sucker out uh you know took the thing you know corked it up a little bit made a hole big enough to stick that thing in and then i stuck it in and then i pulled it out real fast i pulled it out real fast because uh, you know that's what you gotta do. You gotta stick it in, and then you gotta pull out. I'm talking about the tire, guys. I'm talking about the tires. Hi. Don't get it twisted. Hello. Okay. Anything? 
Hey, but pulling out is also a good way to not end up with a uh, responsibility. But anyways, um, so yeah, I, I pulled it out, boom, put the little glue on top, and I have my own because, you know, I told you guys a long, long time ago about the situation where I drove to like multiple gas stations and the air pressure cap machine things were missing. Like people steal those or take those off or whatever. So I remember I bought on Amazon my, my tire air, uh, air flater, my air flater, my tire. And I always had that, man. So I, I'm just out there all cool and stuff, all prepared and shit, except for the Something wrong. plug kit. I pull out my little, my little handy dandy tire inflator. Just out the air. It's going. I'm just on my phone, just chilling. Yeah. And it worked. I plugged my tire. Yeah. Um uh Pat Santos says, You want me to tell you a little of Marvel Spider Man 2? No. Because I watched I watched Giant Bomb play it and they went over and stuff. I, I don't need to see any more of that game. I saw the Miles Morales enter the Spider Verse suit and the effects that it does in the game and I uh which that suit was in the previous Spider-Man game. I believe Hello. it's in uh anything. I believe it's in Miles Morales game that I'm playing right now. Um, but you can also turn that effect off. And yeah, I, I saw some of them do stuff. I heard them talk about stuff. I I also I also saw a particular suit in Marvel Spider-Man Two. That I'm gonna just say. Damn, I'm, I'm trying to do this without making any spoilers. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just say it was a white suit. Which you don't know. It could be the white suit with the flaming skull that was in Marvel Spider-Man One. Something but wrong. I saw a specific white Spider-Man suit based off of a kind of design like a different property that i like that looks sick as fudge man and if you know you know that's it i that's me being as vague as possible i had that spoiled for me i don't want to know anything else about morris by man 2. what else can you tell me about nira the colony war saw a lot of hard fighting but nira got it the worst Everything the Freestar Collective and UC could muster, ground troops, Xena weapons, mechs, was hurled into the fray. Both sides hoped something would decisively turn the tide, but it never did. When the war finally ended, swaths of that world were so devastated they were effectively abandoned. So what Kaiser's doing there of all places, I can only guess at. Why is Kaiser so valuable to stop in the Terramors? Kaiser lets us do field work with a level of precision that there's really no other way to accomplish. More than a few of the options we're looking into. Detectors to uncover the Terramorph transmission method, or crafting a targeted biological agent. They require highly specific materials to test against. And asking a group of Marines to accompany us for that kind of work, well, it usually ended up with ruined samples and... Wounded teammates. Hey, Jen, I have to tell you something. Your father, he's alive. He's being kept in prison by the USC. Uh, no. All right, I'm off. To and I'll make sure we're ready to put him to use as soon as you've got him. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Admiral Logan sooner rather than later. <laughs> I'm sorry, but not right now, Sarah. Next stream, Sarah. Next stream. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Next stream. Do you, Captain? Why did I go to the cockpit? 
Why didn't why didn't I just choose cockpit? Like I see is treating you all right. I love how it shows my original ship, though. Look at a beautiful, beautiful ship. Damn. I felt a lot of work. A lot of elbow grease into that ship. What's that? That sounds like a gunshot. Fascinating. I wish I could just run through everything, huh? Oh, well, that was easy. Hey, new model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. The hell type of name is Joe. And what exactly do you and your scrappers do here, Jill? Turn mix into money mostly. Plus selling equipment, information, and supplies to any short-term scrappers that want to take a shot at striking it rich out in the fields. I'll pass on the small talk if you don't mind. Impressive place you got here, Jill. Appreciate it. Took years to get this place self-sustaining. Plenty elbow grease and creativity. Can I get you started on a tab then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. Kind of, what kind of name is one of a kind for a salvage? Or... It's kind of an inside joke. Other than the fact that we're the only place out here 
The mechs we harvest, they're primarily from a group known as the First Cavalry. Their unit was deployed to break the deadlock on this world during the Colony War. Almost succeeded, too, but as you can probably guess, it didn't ultimately work. Left us plenty of scrap to build with, though, so we thought it'd be funny to dedicate this place to the folks that made it possible. I'm here to make a fortune. Show me what you got for sale. Looking for a robot. Goes by Kaiser. Kaiser? Uh, no bot around here with that tag. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? At least that's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah. That machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing. Or it got him. What white whale? What are you talking about? Moby Dick? Old art story about one Captain Ahab chasing some big fish that's bound to get him killed? No? We all thought the name was a good fit since our bot friend was so damn busy chasing that siren of his. Quality slate, too. Think I got a copy for sale if you want to give it a look. What's a siren? Nasty kind of alien left behind after the colony war. Pretty much blind. Original ones brought to Nera were all Xeno weapons, but those critters have long since passed. But they left behind more than enough untrained babies to keep the fields plenty interesting. That could be him. The robot I'm looking for worked with the United Colonies Xeno Warfare Team. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot. Little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here. So if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. I respect the hustle, but I'm sure we can work something out here. I'm listening. Hmm. Are you going to tell me what I want to know, or do I have to beat it out of you? Who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer. You don't seem to understand. I need this information. I know you'd like to help me, if you could. Yeah, I hope so. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe we can work something out. I understand that this is difficult for you, but I know we can work it out. I really hope so. Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. Fine. Here, just tell me where it is. Pleasure I mean, 675 business. is a sweet deal. If that makes him happy, whatever. So, last <laughs> anyone heard of him? He was out near the Syracuse. I pissed 675. I mean, I, uh, that's nothing. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind I of... I have so much issue. crap I could sell and get that money Just right back. keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open, too. Sirens and ecliptic out there. And neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction. So now you know. Give Ahab a... Kaiser, our best. Awesome. Thank you. 
I'm sure you're a 675. I'm pleased to see scrappers disassembling these mechs. Damn war machines are better off being fast. How much money do I have? What's wrong, button? Where's my money? Inventory. I have about 148,000. Oh, these aren't hazardous. Man, I can't wait for the new Star Wars with Cal Kestis, man. That's gonna be the final one, right? Also, this scrapyard reminds me of, like, remember the first game? Just salvaging things, salvaging what you can. Nos belle imaginas. Voice. Controls. Everybody has this sweet mustache, huh? What can I do for you? Oh, it's the same guy. I was told you might have a microcell. Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? 
Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light if you let them. But a micro cell. That's military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So I just brace for a little sticker shock. You say you got the tools to make the marker cells here. Show me what you got for sale. All legal, I swear. Thanks, man. Oh, well, he made some decent money off of me. There you go. Where are those creatures you had any remove? Mission, what are you talking about? Weapon disarmament. High risk. So I will ask you to stand aside. Well, it's not like you're in any kind of shape to complete your mission. You should come with me. My damage is within acceptable thresholds. I have done more with less. Although, previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. Guys of the galaxy has risk here. That takes president over whatever your current mission is. Request denied. My current mission requires completion. Will you provide support? Tell me about the mission first. My mission is the disarmament. Of unit XW99. Designation Siren. Nearest final active Xeno weapon, 99, has proven a far more formidable adversary than its peers. Will you aid me with disarmament? Aren't there a lot of these sirens things running around? Why is killing this one it's so important? During the colony war. Handling of Unit 99 and its peers. Deploy Unit 99. Defend Unit 99 against Oops, hostile forces. I then we click the mouse. Whoops. But above all, ensure Unit 99 was never used against non-combatants. When I was separated from the Xeno Warfare team with the Armistice, Unit 99 
Damn. Remember 99 Nights? The video game? Okay, we're going to disarm his unit weapon, so I'll be helping you. What we'll kill? Kill an alien. Unit ninety nine is a siren, a deadly biological specimen deployed to Nera during the colony war, engineered for combat efficiency. Execution of said specimens is the standard method of xeno weapon disarmament. Okay, facts, facts. What can you tell me about this unit ninety nine? Species designation. Secusa Lantanus. Top speed, 78 kilometers per hour. Confirmed kills, 107. Killing is the standard disarmament method, meaning there are other methods aside from killing. Technically, yes. All Xeno weapons have a control interface, which allows them to be given orders. If Unit 99 were to be subdued, I could wipe its interface. This would prevent Unit 99 from ever being used as a weapon again. That would be technically sufficient for the parameters of my mission. However, it is my personal assessment that Nero would be better off with Unit 99 terminated. Fine, I'll join you, but I don't want to kill this thing if we don't have to. I suggest you meet our foe before rendering a judgment. Let us move. Alright, let's move. Let's move out. Let's move out. Von Kaiser. So many lives lost. Bring back pain from that base. Can be hazardous to organics. Search protocol. God, I love this gun. Might as well take what we can. Yeah, I, I love this gun, bro. Shit.
is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach, but it appears to be under the control of hostile forces. Sensors suggest Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, like this? would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Do it here. I'll check it out myself. Very well. I will wait for your return. I just wanted to talk. Yeah, I just wanted to talk. You want one in the brain pan? No. Then get the hell out of my face. Final warning. Please no. Shut the gal. That was a bad move, guys. She should have just talked to me. Should just talk to me. Should just talk to me, guys. It would have been a lot easier. this smoke I'm telling you you don't want this smoke you don't want this smoke man what did I say you don't want it oh shit another one damn I love this gun I love both of the guns I use man Look at that. That's my inventory. All right, we're at 120, 122. Not bad. That's a useful mod. I love it. Yeah, med pack. Nice. My game locked up. My game locked up as soon as I fired. My game locked up as soon as I fired. Come on. 
Hey, bitch. Yeah, he is. Bitch. Damn joke, all right. All right, I need to save. I'm gonna save real quick. Difficult. Oh, damn it. Damn it. I went to reset it. Damn it. Fuck me. Uh, okay. Thank you. We'll save it. We'll sell it for ammo. <laughs> Almost full. The space so then cage key card sure I don't need it anymore can't canuck bacon huh <laughs> <Knuck. laughs> yeah <laughs> Next time I'm back in town, I need to go buy some ammo. 7.77 rounds. Did you hear all the, all the gunfire? It's done. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission that requires my expertise? Adrian Senna and I want you to help preventing a possible plague of terramorph attacks. A plague of terramorph attacks. That is. Oh, thank you. It says Ghost Wolf. You are docked at <laughs> one of a kind. I will meet you there. Nice. Okay. Uh, damn it, wrong button. What the fuck was that? that noise? The hell was that noise? Oh, that's the Steam Deck. It needs to be charged. Oh, snap. I was like, what the hell is that? I heard bring. I was like, what? Charged steam deck. Bring. We have arrived. I will meet you inside the facility. I 
And Sarah's like, wait for me, wait for me. No. You snooze, you lose. That's not very gentleman-like. <laughs> Who said I'm a gentleman? I can't believe it. Major Salon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to me. Yeah, I wonder if, like, if I would have let him come in the battle with me. I wonder if he would have got damaged a, a bit. I think the reason why they had the option to have him wait there is because I could probably pickpocket the guy. And then I get his key card and then release the thing. I don't know. Who knows? I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinium. Hmm. Londinium. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain. You're with me. I like that mission. Captain that was a good mission. We came up with. Well, the ends of that mission. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. Okay. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asiris? Yeah. Eh, I remember, sure. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asiris were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. The uh, Asili's really clean up the whole world like you're describing? All our data suggests so. Asili's. They're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding, which is important because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. Mm -hmm. On worlds where Asili's were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is Terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asili's are somehow cleaning that up as well. I mean, look at those massive These creatures horns. are good at what they They're do. They're penetrating the Terramorphs. And the Terramorphs is like, no more penetration! Ah! Are these Asili's things dangerous? If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asili's were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. I'm not sure I like the idea of introducing random aliens to human worlds across the galaxy. Well, there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize. Let spread and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, 
test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Mm. And exactly, it's going to be doing all this work, dispersing the microbes and or the Asilis. Well, that's still not 100%, but it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. What kind of risks are there with the micro? Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So, to say there's zero risk would be a lie. If it were up to me, I'd deploy the micro. Anything less could mean lives lost. That sounds like you're playing with fire. I'll vote for the sillies. Let's discuss how we make these plans reality. Well, so that's tricky. Both plans are going to take major investments in time and resources. We're talking years of work. And not to mention some highly specialized materials. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinium. All right, Dania had an Asilis population? It was the central hub for Asilis processing during the colony war. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asilis were first found there. The planet it's on, Tolemon II, was their home world. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Mm. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. Are we even allowed in Londinian? <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. All right, the planet overrun by Terramorph. Isn't that suicide? It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's going to put us and the mission at risk. But... Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Listen, uh, if this is what it takes, is going to take, then let's not waste any more time. Let Daniel, here we come. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm going to help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian... It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Excellent. Good talk, good talk. <sighs> Shit. Pardon? Howdy. How do you do? This is quite an impressive research facility. When it comes to the study of the Terramorph, the Red Devils are sparing no expense. It's a damn shame that it was necessary to reopen this facility. But someone has to deal with the fact that the Terramorphs have resurfaced. Could feed a small planet with the amount of food this place goes through. Now, what can I do for you? This goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? 
What's wrong with Mars? Oh, nothing. I love having to take a toothbrush to every crate they drag in here. Now, you're gonna tell me what you need, or can I get back to my work? Uh, aren't you just Ray, Sunshine? It's come up on my performance evals. But I know the needs of this facility inside and out. So, everyone has to deal with it. Hmm. Not that it should matter to you. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Captain Spike Vanguard, pleasure to meet you. Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city. So, um, thank you for what you did there. Hmm. So I am am really just here to buy supplies? Of course. Consider yourself verified. Here's what I've got in stock. Okay, uh, let's see what you got here. Vampire's gift. Ooh. Oh. Uh, let me see my stuff. Let me see my weapons here. What do I gotta get? Okay, my, my favorite guns. Let's see. Frenzy shotgun 60. Iron's doing 36. Okay, so. Ah. Uh, yeah. A modified rifle. Ah. Uh, each consecutive deals more damage. <laughs> Yep, too damn good. Too damn good. Don't need your weapons. Your weapons ain't strong enough for what I need. Oh wait, hold on. Uh vendor, here we go. Alright, let's see. Uh ba 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 breach. Ooh. Shotgun. Magazine six. Ooh. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Like that. I like that. I like that. But uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Ooh, okay. You got any, uh, sim ah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it all. Let me get those. Uh, you got any, uh, oof. Shotgun shell, CLL. I think I need the 11 millimeter caseless. Yeah, that's what I need. There we go. Hey, let me get those. There we go. Nice. Thank you, my man. Oh, let me get those .27 calibers. Take those. What else you got here for me? Oh, got armor. I got armor. It's not good enough. My armor is better. My armor is better. Oh, yeah, I'll take all those. Thank you. Get all those trauma packs. Thank you. All right, what else you got? That's it. All right, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. All right. <clears throat> okay. Damn. Ah. Uh, Sarah, will you, will you say we take a little trip? You say we take a little bit of trip. Eh? Eh? Uh, let me bring up my trusty navigation here. Call my phone. Because <clears throat> you could get lost in this game. So hold on. Let me, uh, let me uh, check my notes here. Um, where I need to go to get back to where I needs to be. Uh, scroll back a little bit. Scroll back. All right. And yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, Alpha Centauri is where we need to be. There we go. Boom. And we need to go to Jim, Jim, Jimison, Jimison, Jimison. 
I gotta do a little bit of shopping. A little bit of shopping. That was a pleasant I, I guess that's life. a good spot to United stop Colony too. Space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. That's a good st stopping point too. Before we engage into some combat Scan here, complete. we'll do that you next stream. But uh, let's let's uh, let's go see uh, see uh, Sarah's mission. Let's do Sarah's mission next stream, and then we'll. Uh, I don't know. Is Ghost here? Ghost, are you here? Are you here, man? You know, is is this the last part of this mission here? Is this it? Is this is this it? Is this the last mission for this main mission here? To uh, go get these things, the Asilis. Hmm. That's what says, what are you doing tomorrow? Diablo. Uh, ch schedule shoved subject to change. So no Starfield to uh, Sunday. Um, what's quest called? Uh, uh wait a second. Uh, the mission is uh, hostile intelligence. Proceed to Lidinian. I'm looking up right now. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of steps to this. This mission. Yeah, it seems like there seems like it's going to be a pretty lengthy one. All right, we'll knock out Sarah's mission and then uh and then uh, we'll continue with the hostile intelligence. But first things first, I need to go buy some stuff. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of steps to this. There's mission. We got two streams tonight, <laughs> mainly because the stream disconnected an hour and a half in because I was speaking some real facts, man. Straight up facts.
Jonah Jameson. I am not a stock boy. I hope you're finding everything you need. Oh, please take a look. Thanks for coming in. They didn't like your facts. So, <laughs> so I'm saying, man, don't buy a games day one unless you're really invested in the game that's coming out. If it's just a game you're like, ah, oh, maybe I like it. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Wait. Three weeks later, might get it on sale. Never know. Captain Spike, it is pleasant to see you. Ah, likewise, likewise, likewise my man. Alright, I need to find the storage on fun. my ship. Besides the helmet, I like everything else about this armor. The helmet, it's not cool. It's not cool, man. It's, it's, uh, the helmet could be better. No, no, I, 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 no, 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 no. I can't see what it says. Transfer. Oh my God. I, uh. I didn't want to pick up all this crap. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I need to take a picture of this because I, I, I have too much ammo. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Uh... All right. This is the ammo I need to keep. There we go. Okay, that's the ammo I need to keep. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Uh, ammo. Uh, point twenty-seven. Do we keep that? No. Point forty-three. No. Point forty-three. No. Point fifty. No. No. One point five. No. Eleven millimeter. No. Twelve point five. No. Twelve G. No. 15.25. Yes. 3kV laser. Yes. 40 millimeter. No. 6.5. No. 6.5. Again, no. 7.5 millimeter. Yeah. Uh, 7.62. No. 7.77. Obviously. 9.39. Yes. Case of the shotgun. Yes. Heavy, no. Lightweight particle fusion. Do we keep that? No. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Tree infections. How much weight? How much weight? Mass? Nothing. It's. It don't take uh ship parts. Get that shit out of here. There we go. Uh I'm never gonna eat this. Never gonna eat this. Never gonna eat this. No. No. Persuasion, maybe. No. 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 Maybe. No, no. Yeah, store that, store that, store that, store that, store that, store it. Maybe. No, no, no. Maybe. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Resources. Get it all out of here. Ah, uh, hold on. Uh, trying to category. I don't see anything. Boom. Thank you. Okay. Still overweight for some reason. I'm still overweight for some reason. Miscellaneous. Ah, here we go. Stack of cards. No. Did you pick? Yes. Empty chunks packaging. No. Fire stickers. No. 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 No, 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 Ghost Will says, uh, really hope Alan Wake will be good. Yeah, I hope so too. I keep hearing good things about it. Keep hearing good things about it. You know, so I hope so too. When does it come out? I forget. I used a different one. Did? Uh, okay, all that stuff has been dropped and we are good. Because that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to store my stuff. I didn't want to take anything out. Accidentally ended up taking things out. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our next venture. It's your boy here. Descent. It's my ship. It's beautiful. Beautiful ship. We're getting close, I got a feeling, to knocking out these faction quests. I think. Yeah. I hope. Then we will focus on the main story missions, which... <laughs> I've only completed three, only completed three of the main story missions, and uh, how long we've been playing for? Uh, 
We've been playing for one day, 21 hours and 38 minutes. So yeah, we're almost at 48 hours, I think. I'm not sure. All right, yeah, we're we getting there. Yeah, not bad. Um, comes out October 27th, shoot. That's too soon. That is way too soon. But it's gonna be like $40, right? I don't know, let me check Steam real quick. Is it coming to Steam? That's the thing. If, if it's not coming to Steam, I don't want it. If it's going to be like on Epic Game Store, I'm, I'm not buying it. Uh, Epic. Oh, I've typed in Epic Game Store. Uh, Alan. Wake. Oh, God. Well, that would be... Uh, I'll have to probably get it on sale on Epic Game Store. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I like Steam. I like Steam, yeah. Like Steam, because that's where my achievements are. I mean, even though I have the epic launcher on my Steam Deck, I don't know. Just like seeing all my achievements in Steam. All right, so Alan Wake is on there. Uh, it's fifty dollars. Hold on, let's check CDKeys.com. Let's see if we can. I could get it for the low. If I could get it for like thirty or thirty-five, let's see CDK. Let's see. Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2. Oh, pre order. Ah, Xbox. Damn, it's only like $2 discount. Uh, damn. Damn. Da 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 yeah. What's free this week on Epic Game Store? What the hell's the free games? I mean, I do play. Oh, oh my God, The Evil Within. Oh my God, let me post this to the community tab. Let me post this to the community tab real quick, cause uh, dude, they Evil, The Evil Within is on uh, a free in the Epic Games uh store. All right, bet. I'm going to post this to the community tab at the stream. Oh, my God. And then we get Evil Within 2, October 26. What the hell is Tandem A Tale of Shadows? Is this is this like is this like Alice Madness Returns? Because I love Alice Madness Returns. What is that That's not what I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like Alice Madness Returns. Well, well. All right, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and claim these, add them to my Epic Library. I do play Epic. I do play some of my games in Epic Launcher. It's just, I don't know, man. I, I'm so used to Steam. When you're so used to something, you just don't want to, just don't want to do, try something else. But, you know, Spice is the variety of life. And I do like that GOG Galaxy links your uh, your stuff together. I do like that. So it's all under one place. So all you have to do is open one la launcher. You can see all that stuff. Continue browsing. Eternal Threads. Is this like, um, no, this is definitely not. Okay, this, I was... Uh, I thought it was like Indigo Prophecy. Never mind. The, the cover art threw me off. I'm going to go ahead and claim Evil Within, though. Huh. Dude, like, tell you the truth. I don't need to buy any more games. Because I just, like, Epic Games, tell you the truth. I have so many games I got for free through here. I think I'm set for life like literally <laughs> i think i'm set for life I, I actually don't need to buy any games ever again i think that's it with my steam library my epic launcher my epic library i think i'm set uh ghost was said i did finish the bookcase story that's how far i got okay
God, I love Steam Deck. Oh, I love this device. Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for tonight's stream. We're going to continue with some Diablo season of blood. Uh, blood. Uh, to suck your blood. Oh, blood, 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 blood. I want to suck your blood. Huh. <laughs> Uh, so yeah we're gonna play some more uh diablo 4 season of blood i think uh go said he catched up he leveled up his character so we'll continue that and i'm really enjoying the rogue class in there so yeah maybe we'll finish it maybe we won't maybe we'll finish it next week maybe we won't but we're gonna knock it out knock out the story and see what's what ladies and gentlemen of course if you enjoyed today's stream, definitely hit the like button. Don't forget to sub to the channel with the notification bell turned on. That way you'll be notified whenever I go live, whenever I upload any new videos, or when I up, uh, post to the community tab. Yeah. L.A. Night. Yeah. But <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope to see you all next time for some more video games. All right. Good night.